Hi, I'm Casey. Welcome to my channel. And even though this will be an allure unboxing, I am going to start out by showing you some friend mail. So you can skip past it like five minutes if you don't want to see my friend mail. If you don't care about my friends sending me things, I understand. Um, I'll probably tell you what number to go to. I went to the mailbox today and I am expecting, I was Allure and Ipsy and my Goldie Box and BoxyCharm and this makeup geek, what are those things called? Mystery boxes. And I think I maybe ordered a dress off of Amazon really late at night one time. Um, so my special key was in the mailbox, meaning that I get to go to a different little locker and get things out. And I had Allure, but I also had this which I felt like was probably going to be that dress from Amazon or maybe the Makeup Geek stuff. I didn't know. And then it was friend mail. And it's from Tiffany Wears T-shirts. And that seemed very odd. It's not like I had won a giveaway from her or anything. Um, so completely unexpected. She hadn't mentioned it. Um, there it was. And it says on there, sorry, my dog was laying on this. Titus says, hi. That's funny to me. Um, and I'm thinking, what the heck could it be? So it's all wrapped up in flamingo tissue paper, which is adorable. Um, but I found a card and it has stickers on it that are Alice in Wonderland-ish um, stickers. I actually already took the one sticker off um, that was the bunny and I put it on this cup, on this cup they transfer pretty well to something else when I decide what else to do with it. So that's what that is. And I've never, I do just, there's some quotes that I just love of from there. And I do have like some pillows, like, you know, like sofa pillows that have Alice in Wonderland things on it because the quotes speak to me. Anyway, um, inside this note said to Casey to make up for my past transgressions. And then it says, if you and Nadia can't actually wear these, there's always Sophie. And then she said, P.S. The rest is just random because why not? And I'm thinking, what kind of transgressions would she have to ever make up for? That's silly and weird and I can't even like picture it or imagine. And then I'm pulling out things like pink feathers <laughs> and little flamingos, which I mean are cute. I'm definitely going to keep them and do something with them because they'll be cute in a package for somebody somewhere. Um, there was this little Lego that has, um, balloons and confetti, um, but the balloons that like you can blow up and they have confetti in them. So again, that'd be fun for me to do something with. There was these little nail decals, which are cute. There was this pin, um, that's also a flamingo. There was this cute bandana, which, um, I don't think that this was from just like Wish or something. And if it was, I need to order me some Wish bandanas because it is so soft and so much better quality than like normal bandanas. I mean, this thing feels like it could be made out of, I don't know, some kind of fine woven cloth from a silkworm. I don't know, but it feels nice. And then I pull out these black socks that are rainbow and rhinestone and sparkly. And then I laughed a little bit. Um, and I also... No, Look at these cute socks. Okay, now my fat little thighs kind of um, want this one to roll down a little bit. So this one might be the one that actually fits and, you know, looks cuter. So <laughs> sugar just took off of that one. <laughs> I guess that would be hers. Um, and this one. Okay, first of all, aren't they cute? I mean, they're rainbow and rhinestones. There's not much better. Um, the problem is that now I don't have anything to give Tiffany a hard time about, and that was fun for me. Because she would often say things like, she found me first. And I would tell her that I found her long before she knew who I was. In a video, before she knew who it was, she had opened up a package of Wish items and in there was these rhinestone socks and I did say those are just like the cutest things 
ever. I can't believe she would like wear them because she was acting like they were dumb and she couldn't believe that, you know, they were in there. And then I've made fun or made jokes for six months now about how she used to not even, you know, talk to me back in the comments and like those were the you know best socks ever. And I don't even know that I said like you should have sent them to me, you know, or anything like that because clearly she wasn't going to be sending me friend mail. She didn't know who I was. But just was making comments about how cute they were. Um, and now I'm going to feel like clearly I can no longer make jokes with Tiffany about anything and poke fun of her about not talking to me. I've got nothing to hold over her now because now she's sent me these awesome socks, which I am totally going to wear. Um, I would probably let Nadia borrow them if she wanted to wear them sometime. And I've let Sophie wear other of my socks so I can see, you know, maybe letting her wear them. But I, I will be sporting these um, at some of my music festivals and I think they look darned adorable on me. Um, again, maybe the lower ones just because the high ones kind of want to roll down. Anyway, um, I know most people say like, oh, I'll list her in my description box and I will, but it's not like you don't know her. Um, the 12 people I have following me <laughs> already know who Tiffany is. Okay, so on to the Unlore unboxing for the month of April 2021. Okay, let's see what's in here. Starting out with Hero Mighty Patches, a duo, six original for night and six invisible for day. Um, these are one of my favorite new products that I've found in the last year or two. Um, these things work amazing when I have like a random pimple that pops up. I like that it camouflages it. I like that it helps it heal or come to a head, whichever it needs to happen. And I like that it keeps my fingers off of it because sometimes you have it and you just keep wanting to touch it. And that is not a cool thing. Um, so to me, this is as good of a product as I could get in a subscription box. Next. So I'm just going to tell you that this part has been re-recorded. I didn't like how I'd done it the first time because I didn't feel like I was very well prepared. Um, so I think I didn't say that the Mighty Patches price is $7 for the 12 of them. Then the next thing up is this Cargo Swimmable Eyeliner Pencil. I got the color Dorado Beach. You actually could have gotten Pfeiffer Beach, which is more of a purple, or Black Sea, which was a black. Um, I like this brown color, but I do have I think about three other eyeliners this color that I have opened that I'm using and the one that I got from Allure last month that I haven't opened that was also like a brown, it was dual ended um, eyeliner slash shadow stick. Um, so I am not going to be opening this one. The other thing that I found interesting with it though is that it said that it's $18 and I did find it places for $18, but I also found it on the Walmart website for 12 and the Kohl's website, it's clearanced out for $5.39. So that's always interesting also, I think, when that sort of thing happens. Um, the next thing is this Aveda Botanical Repair Mask. I like Aveda hair products and actually, I mean, makeup and skincare products also, but I had worked in an Aveda salon for probably six, seven, eight years, somewhere around there. Um, like 94 till 2002, I don't know, some, somewhere around there. Um, so I'm pretty familiar with Veda products. I mean, they've certainly come out with new ones since then, but I like them. Um, and they usually smell wonderful. In fact, I should open it up and smell them. Um, this one isn't, yeah, it is actually, it smells really good. <laughs> I was going to say, usually, I just think they smell awesome. And at first, when I smelled it, I thought this was a much more natural scent, like unscented. But there's definitely a scent there. And yeah, this is a hair product that I'm rubbing in. But usually, you know, again, they're pretty natural products. You could probably, this isn't going to be that bad. Um, <laughs> anyway, also, um, it says that 
the full size is $44 for this. This is a travel sized um, and it retails for $12. But the regular size, the 6.7 ounce size on the Aveda website says it retails for $59 instead of $44. So I'm never exactly sure how their pricing is working out. The next thing is the eyeshadow palette. Comes in this cute little box. It's this little baby guy. Um, very neutral shades, two shimmers, two mattes, um, just, I mean, brown and gold. So it says here that the full size price is $45. When it has a price on it, though, on their website, like this one, so this is what they consider their travel size, and it's $20. I don't know why they wouldn't just list what they're giving you, like the Aveda. You know, why wouldn't they just tell you that this is $12? Because they have it available. So for this palette, the $45 size would also come with a, looks like a brush and a mirror. And then the pan size would be, on this one is 0.375. And for the full size one, they're like 0 0.09. So three times as big. Okay. And then next up is this face moisturizer. That is $49. And this little one that is one ounce is the full size. Um, on their website, you can choose to get it in the plastic or more travel friendly or a glass jar. But they're both the same size and both the same cost. And it does have hyaluronic acid in it and soothing um, oatmeal and shea butter and jojoba oil. So it does sound pretty nice. See if it does any better than the hair product that I put on the other side. It, um, if I can find that it has a scent, I'm going to list it. Um, what I looked up so far, just, it says that it also has like pomegranate bark extract, but that is definitely not this, this, um, taste, this smells more medicinal. Um, or like an adhesive bandage. I don't know, it's got a weird scent. Um, it feels okay though. Nothing too special, <laughs> but you know, I put it on my hand and on my face, so there's that. And then um, the last product is the eye serum. Um, So it says that it is um, $85, although again, I found it on Amazon for $62. Darn Amazon's always making everybody look bad with their cheaper prices. Um, and it does say that it's light enough to use even during the day, even if you have oily eyelids. Um, and that you just need a thin layer. Um, it sounds, it sounds nice. I honestly do prefer an eye serum over um, an eye cream just because sometimes I almost feel like an eye cream can be too heavy. And I have even, um, when I've been using some and too much, will start to get like the little more white um, things under my skin of my eyes. So um, I try to stay away from heavy eye creams. So this will probably be nice. And that was this month's allure. All right, I've had better months of allure, like maybe the last two. This one is definitely just, eh, okay. Um, I was much more happy with my new socks from Tiffany. <laughs> All right. Um, video's been plenty long enough. Thanks. Bye, everybody.